Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ, and welcome back to the NFC Championship for the third straight season as we take on the Washington Redskins. Two seasons ago, we faced the Redskins, and they beat us, and Dwayne Haskins Jr. led a Super Bowl run. He already has one ring as the quarterback of the Redskins. He is right in the middle of the league as far as quarterbacks go. Now, they do have a running back in Ezekiel Elliott. Dallas decided not to extend his contract. I started this franchise before he got the extension in real life. So, he is now with the Redskins. Now, they do have a kind of a, not a great receiving core, but a pretty good one. Jalen Rieger is in his third year. He is 96 speed. He is a burner if there ever was one, and he's going to be tough to hold. Now, they do have a couple of defensive stoppers here in Montez Sweat. This is going to be a tough task for our rookie right tackle, Jack Spell. And then Landon Collins. We all know he's kind of like the cheat code here in Madden. Him and Khalil Mack. If you got a superstar X Factor, they will dominate. He's for so many fumbles here in this series alone. So let's get this NFC Championship underway as we are back at home since both of the top seeds did lose so Washington went through the wild card round just like we did and now it's two wild card teams in the NFC championship Dwayne Haskins threw for 3300 yards on the season 30 touchdowns 10 interceptions so here they start out with the ball from the shotgun they're gonna run a lot of shotgun they have a lot of weapons on offense first play here is a draw play to Ezekiel Elliott and he gets about seven yards but take a look Face mask on the first play, not the start we were looking for in this one. And now they get it to the 47. So here's a run out to left side. And there's a nice stop that time by James Anderson, the rookie we drafted in the first round this past season. He has been hurt for quite a while, but now he finally gets back in. So here's a 39 throw to the left side. That's caught by Rieger. And that's a first down at about the 42-yard line. So as they move the change, they get it to the 44-yard line. Dwayne Haskins has not missed the throw yet. Here's a throw across the middle. That's Zeke, and he's got about 17 yards on that one and a first down as he continues to move the chains in this one. And now they get it to a second 11. Here's the screen pass out to the right. Another throw, and it's another close gain to the first down marker, and they're not going to give it to him. And now it's a third and one. Handoff, Zeke, a big hole. He throws off Jelani to buy tackle from behind by Rich Patton. And they have moved the ball quite well on this one. And here comes Haskins back out onto the field. Throw to the left side on the next pass. And there's another catch. And wow, they are just completing everything, converting every first down. And here they are in a second and two. Handoff, delayed handoff to the left side. Zeke gets the first down again. And they get it to the one-yard line. And now it's first and goal. They are moving the ball at will. Handoff to the right side. And look at Zeke using some patience and finding the hole. It's a touchdown. And it's 7-0 here for the Redskins. Uh-oh, not a repeat of two seasons ago. But they have not seen our offense out on the field yet. We are an explosive unit. Here is Fields from the shotgun. First pass. He's going to try one deep to Keon Knight. And he does drop it in traffic. And wow, that was a great throw on that one, actually, when it ends up falling incomplete. But second and 10, throw across the middle. It's Hawkinson. He's got it, 14 yards for the first down. So nice start. This is the first game without Kerry Reed. Remember, he is was hurt with the tor torn groin in the last game. Here's a throw across the middle. That is caught once again, 17 yards for the first down. So here is Fields now from the shotgun. Quick throw across the middle. It's Galladay. He's got it. And that's another first down here for the Lions. So anything Washington can do, we can do as well. We are moving the chains. But here is a throw on a first and 10, but the pressure gets there. It's Hobson coming around the edge. That's a loss of nine yards as we get back to the 32-yard line for a second and 19. Here is Fields trying to get rid of it again. Sacked, and that's Jonathan Allen out of Alabama. And now they get it to the 37-yard line. Here on third and 24, this time Fields. He's going to wind up and throw to the end zone. It's Yarbrough, but it's knocked away. But take a look. That looked like pass interference to me, but Madden does not have it so they can throw two flags in one play. I think they got away with one on that one. There was a holding on the offense, and also it looked like pass interference. 
So we settle for three points on that drive. Here comes Dwayne Haskins back out onto the field. Handoff up the middle and look at the Lions in the backfield. It's everybody in on that one. Rich Patton included. Uh, so well, Lowell on that one, Simon Lowell. And now that brings it to a second and 14. Handoff, Zeke, and he gets all of that yardage back. It's a first down run. And now they move the chains as we move on to the second quarter. Haskins throws a wide open guy on the right side and it's caught in another first down here for Haskins in this one. So here is Zeke in the game from the shotgun. Here on a first and 10, throw out to the left side. It's another catch in another gain of about five yards. They continue to move the ball. Dwayne Haskins has not thrown an incomplete pass. So here's a throw across the middle on a third and three, another first down. They are getting it to third down situations and converting every single down. Dwayne Haskins is eight for eight to start this game. So here's a handoff up the middle. This time it's Zeke. He's got 12 rushes for 30 yards, but they're tough earned yards as our defense is really good. So third and six, here's Haskins throw to the sideline again. Another conversion and another first down here for this offense. Dwayne Haskins is hot to start this game. So now they get it to the 20 yard line. Second and eight, here's a throw to the left side and it's gonna be picked off. That is Jelani Tavai on that one. Remember, he had three interceptions in the Super Bowl and NFC Championship combined last year. He has one here and takes it all the way back to the 33. I don't know why Dwayne Haskins threw that pass. He may have been staring down his receiver and maybe got a little too greedy. And now we take back over inside a field goal range. So here comes Fields back onto the field. Under center, he throws across the middle. That is Rashawn Foster, who we did draft in the second round, I believe that was, two seasons ago. And he has not really blossomed, but he's still in as a backup tight end. Here's a throw across the middle, second and nine. Galladay's got it. He breaks a tackle. He's inside the five-yard line, and that's a great throw by Fields, only where his guy can get it. So now in a second and goal, handoff. There is Travis Etienne, touchdown, and we will take the lead here in the second quarter. And Haskins, after that interception, comes back out onto the field. And now with four wide receivers out there on a first and 10, he decides to throw it across the middle, wide open guy, and he's got it to Rieger again. It's a first down. Jalen Rieger gets open quite a bit. So first and 10 from the 44, throw. A short throw that time. It's Jordan Reed who's still on the Washington Redskins. He gets tackled by Tracy Walker and Chris Harris Jr. That's a gain of nine yards. So second and one under center as we close in on the two-minute warning. Hand off Zeke, and he does get enough for the first down. So two minutes left here in the first half from the 45-yard line. This time throw to the right side. It's picked off Rich Patton, his second straight game with an interception. And Haskins, after starting out 10 of 10, Throws two interceptions on two consecutive drives, and now we take back over with an opportunity to make this a two-score lead. So here is Galladay on the first catch of the following drive. He picks up about a gain of 10, and that moves it to the 43-yard line with a minute 15 left. Here's a draw play, and that's a nice run up the middle, avoiding the hit and falling down Travis Etienne. He picks up the first down. So from the 45-yard line this time, here's Fields trying to scramble out, and he gets sacked on that one. And that is going to be a loss of about five yards. And now that gets it to a third and 15 from the 37. Throw deep down the left side. And it's caught. Hawkinson in traffic. We never get those animations. We finally get it. And in the crucial part of the NFC Championship, 12 seconds left. So here's a throw across the middle. That time it's Hawkinson again. We go right back to him. Call our last timeout. Eight seconds left. We have an opportunity to run another play. So throw across the middle, and it's caught. Touchdown, Tylen Wallace. Facing a contract year, he is due for an extension. We will have a decision to make, but that is a clutch, big time catch. And we get some points on the board before half. Dwayne Haskins turns it over at 17 to seven. So here we go. We get the ball to start the second half too with this two score lead. ETN on the draw play, he's getting up the field and getting about a gain of four yards as that eventually brings it to a third and four from the 34 throw. And it's a wide open key on night. They send an all out blitz on that one. Nice throw under pressure. It's a first down for Justin Fields. So from the 46 yard line, this time another handoff ETN who's filling in nicely for Kerry Reedy. He picks up about a gain of 10 yards 
as we eventually move it to the 40 yard line for a first and 10 throw. Wide open, Galladay, he's got a lot of room and to about the 17 yard line and another first down. Our offense is rolling in this one. Much like last game, we started out hot in the first half, we need to get hot in the second half as well. So you're on a first and 10 throw to the end zone, a wide open Keon Knight, he just misses him on that throw. And now that gets it to a third and 10 from the 18. Throw across the middle. It's Tylen Wallace. Touchdown again. He gets knocked in by Landon Collins. His second of the game. 24 to 7 here in the NFC Championship. And now let's play some more D. Rich Patton is in the zone after that interception in the first half. Here's a handoff on a delay handoff. And that is Yetter Gross Matos out of Penn State. Remember, we drafted him in an early round three seasons ago as well. So he will need to step up that. here as some of our older guys start to phase out. But on a second and 11, here's a throw across the middle. Picked off. Patton touchdown. Just like that, it's 31 to 7. That was not even a user-controlled interception. That was Rich Patton himself. I don't know what Dwayne Haskins saw in that one. Ezekiel Elliott was blanketed, and it's not like he was even under pressure. He had a clean pocket. Another interception, three in this game for Haskins. So now here's a throw out to the left side on the following drive, 31 to seven now. This game has opened up quite a bit. So here is Haskins, play action fake. We do send the pressure, but here's Haskins getting rid of it. Throw to the left side. He's got his man down the left sideline, and it's a first down. That's a gain of 24. So now close to the 50-yard line, facing a second and six. Got here's he. Haskins <laughs> trying to get rid of it. It's a sack that time by Joey Gales. We drafted him two seasons ago in the third round, and now he's getting an opportunity to play. So third and 13, here's a throw to the left side in traffic, and that was an ill-advised throw trying to force it to Jalen Rieger, and now that's a fourth and 13, and they do not elect to go for it. Interesting play call on that one, as now we have an opportunity to score another touchdown. So here is Fields, this time scrambling to the left side, and look at this, he's got a lot of room. That's a gain of 14 yards on that scramble and a first down. So from the 47-yard line, under center, Play action fake this time. Fields by some time. Throws to a wide open Tyler Wallace having a big game. Two touchdowns in this one. Closing in on like 80 yards re receiving as well. It's a first down. So now we start the fourth quarter here at about the 25-yard line. Handoff. Kennedy Brooks up the middle. He gets to about the 20-yard line on a five-yard gain. And now we are in the driver's seat. You got to figure one more touchdown puts this one out of reach if it's not already throw to the right side on a third and four and it's going to be deflected intended for Tylen Wallace again he's been getting a lot of targets in this game but we do settle for a field goal making it 34 to 7 and that one probably does put the nail in the coffin so here is Haskins nine minutes left not a lot of room here to make a comeback but he's going to try from the shotgun four wide receivers out there screen pass out to the right and it's a stop by Joey Gales and nice play by our defensive lineman, not even being fooled by the screen pass. So second and 15 at about the 20 yard line. This time Haskins all day to throw, throws across the middle. It's picked off the third of the game by Rich Patton. And he runs it in, his second pick six of this one, his fourth interception in the last two games. And that one will seal it up. Wow, four interceptions in two straight games. Can you believe it? Adrian Martinez with the Rams threw four last week, and Haskins throws four this week. It's a route. 41 to 10. That is amazing. And I am so excited. We punch our second Super Bowl ticket, and we're headed to the Super Bowl for the first time, for the second time in team history and we're already 1-0 as we won our first ring last year and wow what a way to punch our ticket once again our defense dominated and that's why you gotta love Madden the game flow in this one I mean just think about it Haskins start out this game hot I mean hot 10 for 10 and they were in control to be honest they were in control they're up 7-3 through his first interception then it kind of stockpiled through his second interception then you can just see, throughout the game, he just lost confidence, turns into four interceptions, and we just took over from there. Joey Gales gets two sacks. Great game from him, but Rich Patton definitely gets the game ball, and because of that, he gets an upgrade, and he moves to 88 overall, 87 
without morale. And you can just see he's the number four ranked right outside linebacker in the league. He is definitely going to be due for the largest contract probably in defensive history in the NFL. Now, Jack Spell has an upgrade. I am thinking about replacing him at right tackle, but I do like his development. He did a really good job on Montez Sweat, but he's still the number 35 ranked right tackle. I think we can do better in the offseason. So let's check out the AFC and see who we will face. And it looks like the Baltimore Ravens have defeated the Indianapolis Colts. And that means we will face Lamar Jackson for the first time in this series as we will face them in the Super Bowl. And I've been waiting for this matchup all along. I wanted to face Lamar Jackson. He is amazing in Madden. You can see he threw for 46 100 yards he is the mvp of the league remember that 37 touchdowns seven interceptions so he is the mvp in real life and he is the mvp here in this season in season six he is 92 overall still only 27 years old the number six ranked quarterback in the nfl look at these ratings he has 95 throw under pressure that means if we send a blitz, he's going to find the open man pretty much nine times out of ten. Now, they do not have Mark Ingram anymore. They replaced him with Jordan Howard, who ran over 1,000 yards. But they have a superstar X-Factor receiver in Marquise Brown. And look at this, man. This guy is amazing. It's 27 as well, but 98 speed, 98 catching, 90 catching traffic, 95 deep route. What can't he do? I mean, he is amazing. And this is what I hope Keon Knight eventually turns into. Now, the reason why this team is so good is not because of their defense this time, but they do have a couple of playmakers on their D. Mark McKay is a decent young right end. He is 76 overall. He led their team in sacks this year, but he is only the number 29 ranked right end, but that doesn't really matter because he can show up on any given Sunday. And then they still have a superstar cornerback in Marlon Humphrey, the number nine ranked quarterback. We will want to stay away from him. And here we go in Super Bowl. I don't even know what year this is. It's 2024, but we are taking on Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. So you don't want to miss this Super Bowl. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I be trying to do me, but they be trying to copy though. Only problem with that is they not me though. People act cool, but really they be shifty though. They say they got your back, but they ain't even behind me though. I be low key, but police be trying to find me.